He ends. They managed to take down Astralis on this map just the other day, and they looked excellent on that T side. So with, with Heroic winning uh, knife round and getting that CT start pick, I don't think Ents are too perturbed by that prospect. Moving outside very quickly, dropping on main roof. That's going to get her Dota jumping around the site, and he's going to find Stan with mid air catches the kill. There's one trade out of Hades, and Shush has pushed at least to find one. Kadia drops the bomb in the open. It's madness. It's everything happening at once, and both players on the CT side fight for their life in. Hell, Diha now knows exactly where everyone sits and he drops oh. down the vent to play B. They've also gone down ramp. No, he's back up through the ladder, door faking bend, door noises. Up, down. He's being very, very loud. But the thing is, how heroic playing is kind of interesting. I love what they've done with Shush here, sending him late through lobby. Shush doesn't want to die because he's collected a lot of utility, and that would be a lovely little bonus to hold on to. If Tessas is able to come through with the kill from heaven, that's a huge win for heroic. Let's see, he's got this decoy. He's going to try and use it as a fake flash out through heaven. Takes a little peek with it. Diha does not know where this second man of Shush is yet. Deals oh. with the first, backflip, oh. sticks the landing, but it's Shush winning the round. Oh, he went ah, all the way around have the a kit and he did lap. go. Yeah, the victory lap. Is that going to cost him here? I think it has, Harry. I think it has. Oh, oh he's got close, it. Close, but he's yeah, got it. I thought he had it, Hugo. Yeah, from the get-go, you know me. I'm it's under control. The it's just for style points. He does a little lap does round. Does the lap? Yeah, yeah, that's ballsy. Flexes his muscles, shakes the champagne everywhere, and gets a defuse off like it's no big deal. Oh my goodness, that's not nice, is it? That's terrifying. Look Woo! at that. <laughs> Perfect ten. On the uh, on the backflip, though. Yeah, I don't think the diffuse could have been closer there, to be perfectly honest. But hell, a round is a round, and heroic will take it. AK out with Diha. It's great on those entries. Lots of util for ends on this little four spy with pistols. Their A hits against Astralis were their bread and butter. That's what they were, were getting them through so many of these T rounds. Now a lot of them were out the gate. But there's a little more delay on this play for Eds. Hot Roof Molly ready for Hades. Dihe is going to try and lurk into main in the late round. No one's watching outside right now. Kadian's covering the cross from hell, but that's not really going to provide anything when it comes to this main position. If Dihe does commit, it's free real estate. But Stalin is moving up from B, and so he is tasked with getting that yard info, and he could get it at the perfect time. Smoke's going in. Dihe... Waiting to see if he gets delivered this kill. He's telling his team to hold off. He might have a pick here. Stown's not made any mistake. Flash is ready on the call there. Stown spotted Deha now knows he likely has a lot of room outside to move. And so he'll continue to go closer to main. And Spinks gets caught in the door. This A play, while slow and steady, has been called to a pause. They need Deha to activate. He's been smoked out by his team. And Refresh has doubled up, dropping the bomb. This did not go to plan for Ents. And Deha left on his laurels in a one on five yeah this hero AK <laughs> well he's been given a lot of room to be a hero yeah. with the AK at least but with only 20 seconds left he is just saving here getting out with this gun heroic all five players staying alive the SMG the, the auto shotgun making a bit of money there and now ends in a weird spot, whenever you hold on to this hero AK, right, you fully understand why Diha doesn't want to do anything in this round. But it always leaves you in a bit of a weird spot, right? He's only at $50 now. That means when this first buy round does look to come through, he's going to be very, very poor. Here's why I'm so excited for Nuke, yeah. though, right? In okay. terms of the stats, right? In terms of any little caveats we could put on this, it's like shocking how neck and neck Ents oh, yeah. and Heroic are, right? They've, they've both played this and nigh on identical amount of times. Their win rates are nigh on identical. It's very, very cool that we don't have the caveat of like, oh, yeah, well, this is a great Heroic map, and it's one that, you know, yeah. Ents have been struggling on. Like, no, right? As you said, Ents had that oh. real good-looking game versus Astralis oh, just yesterday. Oh, the AK. One of the AK. Okay, snappy, snappy with a double. All right, Snapster. Anymore. There is a player Hello? back here in Garage that he doesn't know about. It's Kadian chiming in with a kill onto Hades. Snappy. Oh, he's missed it. Going to go undetected. Don't, oh, there's a reason he TK'd here for the gun, oh. and he's off to a double. It started with a TK. It started with friendly fire. And now, two mortal enemies, Snappy and Kadian, up against each other once again. The eco round for Ents. 
could still come through. That bomb down through the vents into the B bomb site. Plant guaranteed at a bare minimum. Cadian gives chase. Faked it. Faked run into the double doors. Snappy. Trying to outbrain him. It's a battle of brains. It's a battle of wits. It's a battle of who the better Danish IGL is. And oh, Cadian. Gotta take his head off. We'll convert the 1v1. That was only pistols for Ents. That was the one saved AK on Diha, which wasn't on Diha for long. <laughs> Do-O getting a double from it. Yeah, at least he made it work, right? Yeah, like, it's you know, a lot of damage as well. Like, dude, you get out of that round with a bomb plant. What? One player surviving. Uh, the tech taps as well. They completely lost track of Snappy. He got a double kill and A. Cadian always thought he was still there, and I guess he wasn't wrong. Snappy went a long way round. It's such a shame because if he just turned around after Cadian showed his hand outside, he would have likely had the backstab and the trade there, and maybe even win the round. Instead, the full flank to heaven, and he falls on B. Now the buy round now. Well, it's another, the first proper for Ents. Hades has the orb. Cadian's got his, of course, and he's sitting in towards heaven. He can't stop the secret play, but the footsteps will be called over. Nade does a shockingly low amount of damage. And with a back garage play, they know there are numbers. Down in B, Tessus is able to drop the Molotov. And with a refresh alongside him, you've got this little two-pronged attack. Shot at from both sides, peeking on your teammate's contact. Molly's going to push this in, though. He's got to fight for his life. And now Refresh can't, can't trade. He's going to hope they don't suspect him in this position. But the spray is a mess. And Refresh only one. Four on three. Sphinx won't let them rotate without a costly kill. And he's trying to find that right now at red. Oh, the timing eludes Shush. He feels like he's cleared it. And Sphinx doesn't know either. Ha, that might set you up for the retake after all. Bomb's so late. Oh, Hades collects that kill. There's another player at ramp. The Molly is forcing him to peek wide, but Heroic, they might just try to get this AWP out of here on Stown, right? It's the big ticket item. It's a two on three retake that you can't even begin to attempt. You really needed that peek from Cadian to give you something. And with Hades already up on the angle, posted in the way he was, that kill felt destined to go his way. The rifles come out and hence they find success immediately. On the back of saving these two guns, at least, you know, you could... Oh, 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 well, you know, if you had saved those two guns, you maybe could have made a case for a God, bite. you love cursing everything. I don't... That wasn't... I, that that one was saying. so unreasonable. Just he was just saying. saving. He should have been fine. Should've, he should have been fine. There was so much time left and he could have just gone anywhere. I didn't think he was going to die to the bomb, Hugo. But as I was going to say, yeah, you could have you could have bought... He could have yeah. had pretty much full rifles. He's still going to buy, but They're going to fully invest. More. Yeah, you, you could have had, like... Yeah. You could have four M4s here. What I like is that ends go into their first gun round, but they don't go into these A rushes. Like, you, we will see them in this T side. Hell, we might not have to wait long for it. But right now, they're showing a lot more. And, and Heroic have definitely watched the demo, uh, definitely leading into the fact that they're expecting these fast A plays that worked so well against Astralis. In fact, no one was playing ramp this round. Kadian takes a pot shot, but Ents are already ducking down B. Oh, this is a weird round for Heroic. They do have players in the right places, but a five on five retaking the lower site is a, a weird one indeed. Kits available. Can they find their way back into the bomb site? Fighting through with MP9s. Doors off now. Open season for these kills. And still yet to find a first frag. Refresh gets it delivered. A Doto somehow takes one. Re uh, Tessa's trades, but at this point, you're still thinking about saving. The time so far ticked. You're out of position. You're smoked off. And Ents have ramp under control with an open plant. So out you go, saving your guns. And that, you know, that's a read for Heroic. That's them stacking A in anticipation of one of these top heart rushes or top site rushes. And I promise you, they will come eventually. The question is, when will Heroic be ready for them? Yeah, I, that, and that is something to be said about this end squad, right? The, the top side executes they showed us the other day were were disgusting. And yeah. So you can you can understand the fear of heroic when it comes to trying to deal with that. You know, we we kind of noted not only do they have great utility on the A crunch, but it just it, it looks like such a well oiled machine. Like everyone very much knows where they're meant to be watching, what their roles are, what their responsibilities are. 
And out of all the A-Rushes I've seen a team deal, like, Ensis looks astonishingly clean and almost machine-like with how it comes in. Oh, it's a bit of a gap. Stan won't be able to take anyone with him. They laid a leg through the wall. Hades, man, he's really making Cadian work for his kills in this series. This has been such a fun head-to-head -to, -head to watch. Sphinx has already dropped into vents, so no one can rotate safe. And again, B just controlled by N. Snappy on the roof looking for lurks and uh, USB. Oh, and the gun's stuck up there. That's a, a shame. Any boosters? Any way to get up? Got to worry about that clock. N's are soon to plug in the numbers on lower. Smoked, uh, smoked out, Heroica locked away from this B-bomb site. But N still don't have that plan. That gives more time for yeah. Heroic to set up. The smoke has fallen in a way that makes me nervous as yeah. well. It kind of gives you a bit of a veil to cross know. out. I don't they know. They sh Dia should have heard it. But right. Yeah, there we go. Hades is going to attempt to lock that in. Yeah, it's a save. You know, fair enough again. Even though they grabbed that kill outside, it's not like they got the gun. And even though Ents takes so long to plant, Heroic moving early, maybe too early. And Ents were already set up in B at the end of the day. They may not have had the plant, but they had the post plants already ready to go. Nice oh. shot. Doto deletes the AWP. He will go down to refresh. May be able to get away after all, but he had to fight for his life and will succeed as he runs for the AWP. It's still an Ents 3-3. Yeah, that orb's going to find its way back into Cadian's hands, right? Shout out Refresh for being the guy to trade yeah. that, grab the AWP, carry it forward. Big round for Refresh as well. Remember, he was the one guy to go down in the previous on B, and so when it came into that round with four saved weapons, and Refresh was literally $1,900, did not buy USP. He got a main roof kill, and then he got two more with no armor. Not bad at all. But yeah, like you said, orb is back, and maybe this is the top rush we've been talking about. Oh, they're just... They're just Scare and Heroic. Here they go late with it. Smoke on the Molotov in the middle of it. And oh, nice start for Shush. Oh, yeah. Real nice stuff on this A hold. And perfect, mate. Like, we wanted to see what the response would be to an attempt at one of these A crunches. And it's safe to say Heroic have done their homework. They've got that locked in. Yeah, I felt like that the flashes were there. Yeah, it, it also, you know, if, if you are able, right, that, that's obviously like one of these A-rushes you've been dealt, you haven't really been dealt them yet, but you've already quelled it once, right? If you remember from the other day, it was really, really hard for Astralis to, to hatch the solutions to stop the pace of that A-play, right? And, uh, you know, it, it felt like it was a large bulk of, of what the Entt side came down to, was finding success on the A-rushes. If you're able to remove that from their repertoire, that is a big bit of the strap book removed for Ents. Yeah, all behind the vent, Sphinx is going to try and drop down, but that smoke is not in the right place. And so refresh, it's open season. Five on three, Stan peaked outside at start to take down Deher, dropping on Silo. Hades looking for a pick off the orb, but Cadian's offered up nothing. He's deep on the radio. Crafting a path with Tesses to take lobby, and they have so much real estate. They now know at this point, and it's the only positions they could be are outside or down lower. Got lower on lock. Hades trying to pre fire corners. Is only going to give Stown more warning. Meanwhile, Snappy's climbing up heaven. And this bomb is coming down. So Hades has got to be very careful. Three health. I don't know how you're meant to get out of this one. Tessa's even oh, going to put the knife yeah, in Yeah, Tessa back. should have it locked in. Should. 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 Oh, oh. oh, oh. They, they pass each other. Ships in the night. Oh. Oh, Hades is probably dead. Oh, wait, hang on. No, he he's going to get the trade. Yeah, Snappy dies in heaven. And what? so now the, the, the destiny was to try and go, hey, Ents are a bit lost in the source. They don't really know what they're dealing with, what they're fighting, and Heroic have got a very good idea of what's going on here. They've spotted Dota over in main. Two players on default in this A bomb site. He is in for a rough old time, yeah. and Stown did a crunch it from outside. There was a lot of moving pieces in that round, and I think Ents just kind of lost track of what was really happening. With so much real estate taken yeah. for Heroic, and so many weird timings here,
buy here for ends, putting everything in and not a lot to show from it. Maybe this would be one of those top rushes who have lots of nades. Oh, here we go. You've looked into your crystal balls. And you were almost right on that one. Yeah, they were Sphinx. expensive. First guy peeking in. On the receiving end of that AWP and now more to follow. That's the bomb dropped in the open. And this A rush has been quelled by Heroic once again. I think it's so important that this is something that you're able to repeatedly best. Oh, refresh. That should not be his kill. Honestly, though, like these, these A plays were, were, were like a real feature of Ence's success on this map last time. Yeah, we aren't seeing the same rushes, though, like the same exact speed and stuff outdoor. Like, you know, they're doing the delayed play. They're splitting door first, then hut second. You know, I would like to see the exact... Because they ran the same strat three rounds in a row, and it worked perfectly. And then Astralis started to cotton on, and we had to see Ence switch it up. But we haven't seen that exact same play. Obviously, a lot has to go right, but... Uh, yeah, it feels like they're respecting the door molly and then they're waiting on that push, smoking it and then committing late. Maybe take a second to line up the flashes. Whatever it is, and still have room. They still have time to perfect this T side, but Heroic should be on for a 7-3 scoreline right about now. It's just Eagles. Not much else. And when the Tech 9 is getting tapped out like that, it's a sigh of relief for Heroic. Oh, that's the bomb. So the odds of finding much here kind of out the window with that. Stown really taking liberties, seeing what he can get away with here. And the outside aggression goes unpunished. He's got the bomb, he's got all the kills. And for Doto and Sphinx, this is now a damage dealing mission. But look at this almost. You know, line of Danes across the map. They're, they're holding in this line very far forward outside with the bomb under control. Like, there's really not a lot these Deagles can do now. Oh, Stan's had enough. Oh, now he really has. Bullet to the head. Oh, watch out, Kadian. Double tag, but they're not ready for refresh in the same position as Stan just was. Able to close the round with the 7-3. It was always meant to be, but now Ents pressures on. They're even calling a tech timeout.
Breathe up. Okay, Diha has a has a great spawn. I, I was hoping he was gonna try and take some sort of peek early. I just love this guy in door, man. But instead, he's going to look for a fast silo play. Now, I mentioned that Kadian, a lot of the time, has been watching for exactly this. But this time, he's over towards CT. Ooh. And so Diha is able to get in through main, but not for long. Stown is hot on their heels. That's that little wombo combo of Kadian and one of these rifle players outside. Swooping in, oh. trying to save the day. Stown picking up kills, but he's left in the clutch. He needs an ace in the 1v2. Don and Cadian's AWP now. He's going to reroute over towards Heaven to try give this round a go. He's got a smoke as well. He can throw that Heaven retake smoke instead. He's faked the rotation and he's going back to main. Oh, second smoke down. It's down. He might just have to go through it. That's 15 seconds. Half the bomb gone if he is patient. Still gives him a, a, a short window. A chance maybe. Hades has this cross and he's not giving it up. Stown, nothing being thrown away in this round for him. Molly going to give away his position. Now both eyes trained on the prize. Stown just got to get out alive and Hades won't allow. Spam through the door or at least through the vent and grabs the AWP as well. You know, Heroic, that was the last thing they expected, Harry. It was the A play. It was the thing, the exact thing they've been shutting down. It had a bit of a twist on with Diha dropping off of uh, a main and also ends through full outside smokes. On top of that, Heroic, that round, was, they were double ramp, double outside, 1A. They, that was the last thing they were ready for. They still do a damn good job of making that interesting. That double from Stown is lovely. A player goes one for one. Yeah, you know, they, they tried to like lean into a bit of a read, right? We were even commenting on like, yeah, we haven't really seen a ramp play yet out of events. So I think that was, was maybe yeah. the worry there. Because even though Cadian was outside, he was leaning towards hell. He was leaning towards a, a fast rotation to ramp. Whereas usually he's been peaking that silo angle to stop those fast main pushes. So I imagine we haven't go back to that again, just to make sure they can't replicate that round with the fast main drop. Yeah, more numbers on A this time. Not a bad idea by any means. Oh, a lovely nade. Oh, so instead Cadian's going secret. That's the change here, right? Straight through ramp. He's going to try to get set up to help hold off this outside cross. With the wall of smokes down, Cadian's already here on the B bomb site. But outside is nothing more than a bit of a ruse here for Ents. They send Diha across. The rest of the gang are still all waiting back in lobby. Ramp player has even gambled. Tessus has moved out. Expecting Util to come down on ramp, right? Rather than a contact play, you hope you'll have a bit of warning if someone walks into that position. So the risk might be worth it. Stack on A right now. And they may have secret, but they're not selling much of a fake. One flash for Doto. He's going to try and push Kadian back, perhaps with a Molotov here. But if he dies with nothing, Ents are just going to be forced into this upper play. And oh, Kadian's going up and over past the Molotov. Doto doubling. Or Diha doubling down. Oh, oh refresh drops push. through the vent, dropping the bomb at two men grabs it off quick shot oh. across he can't get it off switch too doesn't... early this is a weird one Shush, if brutal. he went back down vent he would be shot in the back Doto's still lurking the door yeah that is a ballsy move oh. from refresh but is it gonna be enough it's a two on two retake here Stown trading up onto this orb Shush gonna deal with Spinks Diha left in this 1v2 20 points of health, he's low. Gets that first fight to Stown. Shush at 100 HP. He's got a chance here. He's going to start to move in through the door. D has got to be clean, and it's anything but. The round goes the way of Heroic. They're up onto eight now. Double the score of Ents. Big round for Shush. And refresh with that vent drop. If only he hadn't quick switched off the AWP, man. It yeah. felt destined he was about to make a big play there. Luckily, he doesn't lose in the round there, but yeah, massive kills anyway. And these rounds are just getting crazy. Ends throwing everything at the wall, hoping something sticks. That was four on the A side from Heroic. No surprise, their flanks were so fast. Sphinx there was so attracted to the player who'd already run past the secret. Shush was late, and he was able to close out the round. I love that move because, you know, you say about how
and they're going to need something at the end of this half. Yeah, re Refresh is really starting to look like a real gem whenever games go the distance. Whenever it gets to crunch time, I feel like you're getting the most mileage out of this guy in a third map. And, and it's just brilliant to see that that's something he's been able to keep up throughout the Pro League so far. Oh, no, d -ha. Oh, the turn. Oh, oh. Doesn't get checked. It's kind of half arse there. They do open up into the A-side, but once again, that's the bomb oh. out in the open. Stout, dead over in main. It's a two-on-two -two retake in at this A-bomb site, but... Bombs Vents, down, without yeah. their bomb planted, they could still try to make this tricky. It's stuck vent. And in all this madness and all this silence, Tessis has made a read. Maybe they've walked down the ladder. Maybe they've gone lower. He's decided to set up in the B-bomb site. That gives even more time for Ents to cross in. Stick for Snappy, cover for Sphinx, and Cadian in the wrong position right now. He'd love to still be back in heaven. Bomb is not for main. But the kills might just come to him. Snappy crossing through. Cadian again, the head-to-head -head of in-game leaders. And a missed shot gives Snappy the round. Likely Tess has got to go through the Molotov. And there's too many targets. Spink shuts it out. And ends another calamity on that A-site. But they do win it out. And that has resounding consequences. No money left for Heroic. Some very expensive rounds. Very close rounds in these last few. And the effect that that's had means Ents might be sneaking in an 8-7 half. I'll be happy with that. Yeah, it, it's kind of devastating how this keeps managing to happen to Heroic, where, where they have like these big leads uh, and things are really looking good, and then their money starts to taper off right near the end of a half, right? It's sort of what happened back on Overpass, if you remember. They were 10-2 up. It felt like nothing could go wrong. Then their money gets broken heading into those final few rounds, and that was how Ents were able to make it a competitive half after all. This one is, is attempted to look like more of the same, and that's a beautiful flick from Hades to open up. The one non-vanilla pistol already brushed aside. Cadian's trying to grab it, but it's just a CZ, you know? When you've got the hero CZ, I doubt anyone is, uh, is expecting much from it. So into the guns they go. Cadian will get one with this CZ. Oh, he's jumping around. He Almost. runs entirely out of ammo, so it's probably a good thing that uh, he dies to the Deagle there, or else I think he would have got knifed. Uh, <laughs> that's the downside to the CZ. All right, Ents have set themselves up for success. It may have taken a, a bit of a, a long road here on this T side, and we've not seen what we typically expect from this team, but that's because Hiroko done such a great job of shutting it down. Now, how will this final round go? No AWP for Heroic. Hades has his. Scoreboard's pretty similar all across the end side of things. Smokes again outside. Stown's been so proactive in this position. Moving up, checking Silo, denying the walk. Looking to do it once again. D has got to check everything. He's been burned before out here. Tessez, meanwhile, has that main cross, meaning Stown doesn't need to worry about his back, just needs to worry about Secret. Now, there's not much you can do about it. Smokes are down. He's dropped a cheeky little smoke in the way, and that might scare you that there's a player playing behind it. There's so many one-ways on the stairwell, but there are not. And Entz managed to clear that out. Can now drop B. Entz, they like to complicate it. They like to make things interesting. Dota's fallen off of main roof. Tessus grabs that kill, but he should know. The comm is in. Stown doesn't tell his teammate. He just hunts down the frag, swapping out to an AK. Hades trying to cross back out. Stown won't make it away from blue. And now Entz, all they have is secret, and they don't even have the bomb there. Yeah, it's a little awkward. That bomb is out towards main and in the prying eyes of Tessas. The responsibility is going to fall to Hades to try and trade this one out, right? He's actually managed to get the bomb from under the nose of the garage player. And now he's going to set up his teammate with a flash into garage. Deha getting these trades. Right, he not only mopped up Stown, the other problem outside, but now he's dealt with the garage player in Tessas. Deha's impact in this round has been huge. And it's given this three on three over. Yeah, a bit of a, a B round. Heroic have not had to deal with too many lower takes in this T side. So now they're all grouped up. They've cleared lobby. They've worked it out. They hear the steps. Notice they don't have a kit here. That's going to uh, cut the clock for them. Moving down ramp, everyone grouped up right now. Shush is late in the vent. Ready, they're just running through. They're giving no respect, no room, but Hades Orb does fire through. We're waiting for this flank, but Hades waits for no one. Two kills, leaving Shush in a clutch. He's having a great game right now, but he needs something. Oh, 
unbelievable and it won't happen. The 8-7 locked in. Pretty much neck and neck, all things considered, right? One hell of a point to start from coming in to the last half of this series. The last, what, two and a bit hours all come down to Heroic's T side and Ence's CT side here on Nuke. Diha, he's given up this ground. He's let them take hell and well, Heroic. Oh no. They've secured this heaven wrap. Ence have not rotated down to B, as is the idea behind this strategy. We actually call this one the Hugo. And Ence are all here, grouped up, pushing in. Great understanding of what was happening in this pistol round. Oh. Shush, though, he understands something far more pure, and that is oh. these Glock taps. Spinks with one. Just shush left to B, and he's going to do it. 
He fuses in and Entz win the pistol, tying us up at eight to eight. It's a big round for Spinks and the boys. Yeah, that was Spinks or Shush on for the 4K. Someone had to get it and it was Spinks. Lovely shots, lights out. And that Heaven player is going to be molding as well. You didn't want to be dying first. You'd rather be trading off your teammate in the bomb site. Playing that package it is for you. But just a slither of your head pokes out and that is all Spinks needs to pick it off. Look at this shot. Ugh. So here we go. So yeah, that's a, that, that's a bit of a, a classic pistol round strat there, right? You, uh, hang on a moment, look, we're being invaded. What's this? <laughs> like, I get it, we want to push the brand in and all, but come on now. Heroic versus, uh, who, uh, who? What have they got? What guns? You know, the funny part is we're just hiding that second round orb from you. That's what we're really doing. Hades has got it in. Ramp smoke push. Tessa's grab snappy after one. The second round AWP is bonkers, but it's all thanks to the drop from Sphinx. And Mate, it's 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 a Cadian move, yeah, bringing exactly. out the second round AWP. And, so and a very Cadian move is the triple AKs for Heroic. You couldn't yeah. even tell who won the pistol right now. Bombs planted. Mate, yeah, this looks like a rifle round that's like taking place yeah. like six rounds into the uh, into the half. Nope. Uh -oh. now, this is round two, refresh. He's getting wrapped at ramp. They don't know about Sphinx and while the rap is good, time is a bit of a problem. Sphinx is taking a long while to get anything from this. Yeah, okay. You've put a lot of onus in waiting for this rap round. You don't even need it to deliver, though, as Diha swoops out with a double and the defuse is in. The rifle buy for Heroic does not pan out. And it's Entz <sighs> moving on to nine, stealing the lead away from Heroic. Yeah, dude, the bomb's just so scary, especially with custom HUDs. You never really... I feel like I have a good grasp of it until they come through. Little bars racing to the finish line, and it's going to be Entz to get it under the rug. I don't know how you mess it up, Hugo. I just think, you know, you listen to it. It's all a feeling. Yeah, CS I mean, is all one big yeah, emotion. Exactly. Right? And I know you don't have emotions, Hugo. Oh, That's the wow. lizard part of your brain. Thanks. All right. Fast out, A. Oh! Hades and Dia with the opener. The nade in combination with his spray lights up those players trying to drop the vents. And that's the bomb lost in door as well. A little partial investment for Heroic. They were hoping this could have been another bomb plant, another chance in a post plant of finding success. But the odds of that happening now are slim. Yeah, scales weighted now and heavy favor events. Heroic are just going to try and contact out ramp. Hades here with the AWP. Sitter of a shot to hit. Maybe a player can jump and take the bullet. Cadian has a Glock. Could presume it would be him. Stown just wants that opening deke. He wants to get a gun for his in-game leader. Hades, only right hand on the keyboard. It's all he needs right now. Take that shot. Don't need to move a muscle, but it's a missed one. Stown's on the angle. Hades back for more, and he gets it this time around. Deagle, can Cadian grab it? Yes, he can, but refresh isn't getting any more fortunate. And now Cadian doubling back into his inevitable death. So it will be 10 rounds for Ents 5 Alive as well. The second round all, while it can be a risk, as teams like Heroic have shown, it can be your undoing. Well, it's gone pretty well for Ents. And I keep bigging up Diha over towards Door and Main. I hope that now, over on this CT side, we really get to see why that is, right? This was certainly a good start to the round from this guy. Denying that drop in through the vent. And also going on to close it. Now we've got the rifles back out for Heroic. This is where they, they really want to hit the ground running here. They're going to go early outside. Lots of bodies here. Sphinx watching over from the heavens. Yeah, Molly's on smokes as well. That's uh, a bit of a problem. He has also early dropped down towards B. And Hades even joining him down on this lower site. That's because of those outside smokes. Ents don't have the information. And so they're leaning down lower. Well, the funny part is you say that, but they did molly smokes. And so there is a big gap. And as a result, uh, Heroic don't cross because they're scared. And Ents don't even know that. They gave it up. There was a gap. They gave it up anyway. They say they lean on the B setup. 
And now it's very weird. Now Heroic are running the A execute. They've got the big molly coming in on the rafters. Hot roof as well. And this is going to be fiery. It's going to be ferocious. And Ants are not here. Not with the right numbers. Dota just trying to get tucked in behind the Tetris. He's down, clears him with a headshot. A belongs to the Danes. Locked out at Ants. You wouldn't be embarrassed if you saved here. Might have to be your call. Unless kills come to you, you will go away from them. Oh, dear. Yeah, it's just a save. You know, you can't even give this one a look in, and you hate that, especially, you know, when you consider exactly what you were just saying and that you, if, if you were still watching those outside smokes, if you were caring the gap that you'd created, you would have actually had that info that no one had made it down B, but instead they take the rotation early they're left just too weak up on that A bomb site. And essentially, that whole round came down to like, can Doto take at least a one for one? Ideally, you really needed like a two for one for you to wanna, you know, feel comfortable going that late into a retake. And with him falling right away, I think Ents knew from the get go that was gonna be a save. Only one man going down though. Reinvestment back here, the money still good looking to the future for Ents. They've at least secured a bit of longevity here on the back of their money. And that can matter a hell of a lot, right? With, with Heroic, I kind of said this earlier, it feels like when they were building up leads, they would always have the money turn against them and that's how they would have situations get scary. Ents are trying to prevent that. Yeah, it's around where everyone gets satisfied, right, to, to a degree. And, you know, they, they'd rather win it, but at least they keep four up. So that's a nice drop onto d -Hurt. Still on the roof, ready and waiting to go. Pressure being put on the A site. You could even get down the vent with that door smoke. Oh, oh, oh that looked close. Refresh gets a second life in this round. Hades with a missed shot. And again, a four on five for Ents, where, you know, if a heroic run, one of these A executes... You're going to get locked out. You're going to be looking for more saves. There's two CTs here at least. Snappy's pushed deep on ramp. He doesn't want to activate a flank. Not yet. Hades drops a smoke to give himself a one way. His hell's been smoked off. He goes over the top of it. But this is all just a ruse. It's all into the A site where Heroic want to commit. Tess is walking through the main smoke. Two targets to pick. The orb going back up and no one firing. No one finding success. Hades burn out from heaven. Doto at the last line of defense. He pulling nades was not what he needed. Instant trades instead for Shush. And that's the round. Their snap, he's left saving, and you just have to stew in this one. You have to come to terms with the equalizer now coming through for heroic. And you know, I don't think it would I don't think it would feel like this series is done justice if it wasn't close right till the very end. Snappy is hunted down. That's actually a pretty key frag in the grand scheme of things. You know, the only way Snappy was able to field a rifle here was if he saved. And so with him dying, you know, he's relegated down to an SMG. Not the end of the world. Rifles are out on everybody else, including that AWP still being in play. The Orb hasn't really been given a lot of opportunities here, right? You even mentioned Hades burns out in heaven in this round because of the double Molotov going in. Whenever they're going outside, it's accompanied with these smokes, so he's not really been given an angle there either. Oh. Whose door? Dia's door, mate. They've got him back in, mate. Oh, oh see the head. Hades, finally. He's going to get given a chance to put this AWP to use. A fight on main, you know, suddenly the outside smokes being down don't matter so much. Hades can get something out of this AWP. Oh. And that's something, as Tess says, <gasps> oh, oh no! He's gonna go back to it! Out in the open, they're just trading with one another. Shots go either way, but no one hits a thing. While this has happened, Refresh crossed with the outside smokes. And because Hades has been so tunnel visioned on this main roof player, they don't know about Refresh yet. Yeah, you definitely call the possibility. Like he's saying, oh, I'm, I'm passive out. Like they could be down, they could have hit timings. And that's why you see Ents haven't sent any kind of rotation. They're like, fine, we'll know. Refresh has to make noise, right? He has to either fly up the vent, break a window or open a door. And so we'll deal with that when we get to it. We'll deal with that if Heroic hit B. If not, then it's fine. Five on four, play, retake, play together. And so the smokes come down again. Hades makes the call. It's very clearly a B play now. And Snappy has to be ready for below. Here's him coming. Or coming to join him as well. And Snappy goes in early. 
Well, with the molly down, there was only one way he could have come through. Refresh, why would he be looking anywhere else? Don't tell me you're going to save off that. Ends. Surprised by the B play? I don't know how or why. But one death is all it takes to throw in the towel. Yeah, and if that was all it was going to take to get you saving, I'm kind of left scratching my head as to why even face that in the first place, right? You're, you're bang on. The Molotov meant you, you only get to watch one side of ramp, you know? It doesn't take a genius to figure out where they can come from when there's only one doorway in. And so that was always going to be the difference maker. If you were essentially saying there is your snappy, look, I'm going to see if I can get one, and if I can't, we're going to save. Might have just been an idea to play the five on four out. Yeah, just wait to outright. Get Especially grouped, considering get the they trade, never rotated yeah. to be early, right? It felt like they were leaning into a five v four retake. Yeah, I setup. thought they were absolutely fine with giving away the the site there. You know, and especially considering right when Snappy dies, Hades is only a few meters behind him. If Snappy waits and Hades is there to trade, maybe like, yeah, Refresh gets that kill. He's immediately but then you're four on three. Yeah, and then you're yeah. four on three, and that's how it starts. That's how you just trade your way back in. Obviously, you know, a lot has to go right for, for Ents, and they didn't exactly have Rotate set up, sure, but damn, dude, throwing in the towel like that. It does mean, again, we saw these kind of rounds earlier. Forcing two full saves with four players alive in these yeah. three gun rounds. It's kind of concerning as well because like those, those two rounds were just one kill and and like a misread, a miss stack, and then the round was over. You know, nuke doesn't often feel like an inferno. All right. And so this is nicer. This is looking far hotter from Ents to open up. Sphinx and Diha both get a kill apiece. Hades is gonna blind sides down over at ramp. This is more like it on a path to an 11th. Yeah. And this is why they wanted to keep on saving. Then they get to hold on to the guns, run it back again, and they'll nail it. I Fourth time's a charm. <laughs> I don't think Heroic are going to be worried. They shrug their shoulders there. They say, whatever, life round. They spam two smokes. They got a five on three. No surprise they won that one. Now it's just about damage shooting. Take a couple of guns out of the round. You can set yourself up for breaking that CT economy later on. Orb is here. Again, the molly in. And the pen. Oh, Shush catches the legs. Don't tell me they get a two on five this round, but they are. It's a 1v1 now. Blink and you miss it. Hades, that smoke's a bit weird. He might have room to stick the defuse. Shush is playing with him. Hades has got it. The round. Oh, just about comes through for Ents. Not the kill. The two on five made a 1v1. And Heroic, hey, I said they were going to shrug their shoulders. They still will. They took all the guns out there, but damn. Nice try. And this is great. Like you're, you're keeping Ents in this mindset where they're, they're, they're always leaning on the side of caution with like saving and having to play very, very safe. You know, you're constantly keeping this money low in spite of the saves. That round there, everybody dies for Ents even though they win the round. It's kind of a, a miracle that the AWP is even in play here. Yeah. No mollies or, or anything really. One on Snappy. Tess is back on roof. Oh, dear, saw him. Diha definitely saw him, but the scope can always cut you off. Luckily, he cuts down Tessas instead. Secret Cross does come in, but the smokes are there, and so is the Orb. Hades set down lower. And another one of these five on fours where Ents at least have B control, right? That won't mean, you know, oh, Heroic walk four down behind the smokes and they win the round and they, they plant and Ents give it up. No, they've actually got skin in the game. They've got reason to believe with Hades keeping B. So I'm going to try and lurk out door later. Radio's been taken. That's a nice push. Shotgun hut, one on the roof. This is a good setup for Ents. They are ready to pounce into lobby at a moment's notice. And as long as Hades can just go one for one down on lower at a bare minimum, this should be an Ents round. Yeah, this AWP spot's great as well. Like, you can just go through the motions. You yeah. take a shot there, all right, fall back to the next spot. Take a shot there, fall back to the next spot. You just kind of rinse repeat that till you die or until you kill all the enemy. 
So B's off the cards for Heroic. They're going to look for answers oh. over here outside. Diha, while he's been a bit of a nuisance, they're able to deal with him right away. Here's the response from Ents. It's very, very common to take lobby if you lose outside. And hell, this is oh, something Heroic are going to be more than aware of. The lurk out through door hits an all right timing, but Snappy has already wrapped it from the lobby. Over in heaven, Refresh is trying to do what he can, but they're just so annoying. They're jiggling him, they're wiggling on him. Kadian left in the clutch and he can't do anything with so little time, so many bodies to find. This is a brawl, right? While the first two maps were so pretty to look at, this one is, is scrappy. This is a lot of on-the-fly changes, very, very dynamic yeah. from both teams. And so sometimes, you know, we get into like these mid rounds and they both shuffled around the map so much, it's very confusing to know what is happening. Yeah, that, that bait for, for Hades onto Snappy was so good. He was inventing, he was just going up and down, showing his head, forcing shots from the Rafters player. And then Snappy, you know, he hears these shots come in, he just swings with it. Fast, potentially, right out the hut. Tess says good flashes from Kadian, and everyone's blind, everyone's dying. And even now, the Orb knocked out of heaven trying to look at the ground, all banged by Shush. One way back in for Heroic, the double molly. Denies the Dane. And a four on two. Oh, you've been talking about saving all this money and keeping guns up. Well, this is maybe around where that needs to be the case again. You don't have a lot to fall back on. Always coming down to that CT economy, especially when the games are this close, this neck and neck, and this late in the match. Great call for Heroic just to pump and dump the A site. Even hunting as well to great success. Uh oh. Snappy, this is the only thing y'all are going to have. You need to hold on to it. You cannot let Heroic take it away and look at them. They're all coming Ooh. through. Snappy doesn't want to part ways with the orb. Oh, oh he's holding on, but he can't stay alive. Worth Tess says the last guy Worth it. able to remove that AWP. And that would have been the only. The only big feature in this round for Eds. I just saw a scout come through. Hang on a moment, Hugo. They're not forcing, are they? Yeah, I'm right, they are, Harry. Scout, Mag 7, Deagle's out. Eds have made some, pecu some peculiar buys nice. in this series. They have no loss, though, Harry. So back and forth in this first half. The, they just want to cut their losses and go in big. Can the Deeks do it? The here in the smoke on the edge. And he's catching refresh with a kill, but the rifles are there to trade. One for ones work, but just because you get the first doesn't mean everyone else will. Five kills, right? Easy. And despite these smokes, Heroic go right back into the lobby with four. It's already a secret play. Dota re-aggressing is going to confirm that this is not a B play, and he tells his teammates to watch out on top. Yeah, there's only one guy top sight though. Spinks is the one defender at A. And this has been the case every time Heroic have looked to go A for the most part. There's been a few rounds where you've had more. But a lot of the time, it just doesn't feel like there's enough here. So Spinks Whoa. has got to do a lot with this shotgun. The bomb goes in first. Snappy is dead on the lobby flank. That's given the three on three back over. But right now, Ents are all inning this bomb. They do not want to let Heroic get it back. And this is where Sphinx, the Mag 7's actually ideal, right, yeah. for denying the door push. The one thing I'm getting concerned about is that Stown is the guy trying to make the round winning play right now. He's going to head up into heaven. Entz might need to pressure this player in lobby because they are getting lurked on. They are getting wrapped both through main and through heaven. Stown, as he goes Ooh, in, he hasn't right checked above. beneath him. Hades going to look up and will trade that out. Now there's the main man of Cadian arriving to the scene, sniping oh. out Hades, and Shush holds the line, not letting that Mag 7 win the round for Entz. Heroic take 13, and even though that was a very rough scenario with the bomb lost out in no man's land, they respond to it well. They navigate that three on three well. Yeah, they take so much space, right? You just didn't have a heaven player there if your ends, right? Your, your players are committed, they dropped in, they're on roof, they're on A site. So yeah, the trade is nice, nice for Hades. It was definitely called by his teammate who spotted him get out, but it was all too little too late. 10 seconds left and Heroic just about crossed the finish line. They're getting close to closing the series as well. That's one way to stack Ram. Not seen this formation before. <laughs> All right. But, you know, one player will commit and everyone else can just 
run right back to A. There you go. Okay, Lol. that's nice, but there's no way you're getting any more. <laughs> that's brutal. They just both headshotted yeah. him up on top of the the, uh, the four-man pyramid. Now they're all in at the A bomb site. They've quick rotated through heaven. I like this as an idea. They've just seen ah. everybody at ramp. The rotations are so quick in through heaven that it comes as a bit of a surprise, but they are just vanilla pistols at the end of the day. Bomb has been planted. Player snuck past Oto, but he's heard him. And so he's got this nice. kill locked in. Nice. Oh, no, Jeez. not to Cadian. Oh, come on. You're meant to respect your elders, not stab them in the back. Cadian's dead. Money made for Doto, and a bit of a middle finger to Heroic. For money alone, that's a sick yeah, like, play. Bro. 1,500 in the bank, like you're very happy. You probably won't save the AK if he keeps moving, he's dead. Tuck in the corner here. If you want to tell your grandkids about this round, as a Doto looks to do so. Still 14 though, friends. Full eco, oh, for Heroic rather, full eco for Rents. And yeah, it's interesting. They get a kill, they get a gun, they get a knife things to talk about but at the end of the day the real heroes are the Danes two away from shutting out this series and it would be quite the statement as well with how it started yeah throughout this whole thing you've got to give credit to Ents because they have pushed Heroic to their very limits but this is now where we get to see was it all for naught do Heroic still emerge the victors as we anticipated are they able to right their wrongs or do Ents still have more left to give in this series you already saw and got an idea just how much this means to folks like Snappy all the way back on map one. This would put Heroic 4-0 up in the group, the only flawless team. And uncontested for that top playoff spot. They're looking for it. Hades taking pot shots outside, gotta watch out. Could always walk these smokes into garage. Deher is aware of that, but it's not going to be the case. Heroic fully commit down lower. Three players in the bomb. Stown, his door lurks have been monstrous as well. And Snappy spots something, but it's too little too late. Refresh with a quick shot. The only B player gone. And these rounds in the past have fallen apart at the seams. This is no exception. Shush and Stown trade kills and Tessa's double taps into the B bomb site. It might be the beginning of the end. Yeah, 15 now on the board for Heroic. There's nothing that Doto can do. And even looking to save this AK is tenuous at best. There's no money left for Ent, so this AK's got to get out and it won't. Shush finds him back in the lobby. And with this being a dominant round for Heroic, they are poised now to take this series. If you're looking at Ents, if you've been impressed with the resilience of this squad today, they've got to come up huge now with next to nothing versus a heroic that have only improved, that have only got better throughout the course of this series. It's just shocking to remember the context of how it started. Snappy with his career performance and going, you know, with a, over a 3 KD to destroy Heroic on the first map. And the resilience was well, coming big for the Danes. Five kills away, two rifles in the way. He is looking to use his outside behind the smokes. Tessa sits above the silo, and Deha is so good at catching these top side kills. Gets out of there scot free. But in the meantime, Heroic make their move down towards B, and it's been the bomb site Ents just can't control, can't contain. Luckily, they're getting kills el elsewhere. Both the lurkers in this round removed. And it's down to Heroic in a three on five on the lower site. Or is it? Yeah, I mean, while Refresh is down here, this is something he's done a couple of times, right? Just uh, trying to take B control, see if he can open a back door into the round. But if he can't, at the very, very least, you're hoping he can influence the rotations, right? He can misdirect the Ents squad. It's going to come up vent, I bet. Kadian and Shush, they're looking for heaven. They're going towards hell. From here, they, they, they could wrap ramp, they could try to end B, or they could go up heaven. This is something Heroic love to do on nuke. So much of their T side in situations like this center around getting hell control because it opens up so many possibilities. They're going to try and wrap down ramp. Hades has spotted this what? push. Shush, they're at... Oh, oh my God, he didn't see Hades down beneath him. And Hades hides to get the double. Just refreshing what was a one-on-five. 
The shotgun should have it locked in, and indeed it does. Ents, they keep it going. Yeah. This can't afford to be an overpass story, though, right? They don't want to go the full 30 rounds, only to full 16-14. They're looking for the overtime this time, Hugo. Yeah, we're in the same position, though. It's like, you know, even if we're over by up here, they're going to be left with nothing for the last round. You could even make a case, well, not, not even just to eco, eco this, but to just keep a bit of money, keep something spare. It's not like you have lost bonus. You've been all over the win in this T side, and they're going to buy full, leaving them with almost nothing left up. This is the round. As far as these last two go, Hurok have to win this one. Otherwise, they're in hot water. Other time, otherwise, overtime is in the back of our minds. Yeah, for Hades there, I love that he sticks around. It looks like he's running away when he gets gooshed, and they expect that as well, but he just holds on a ramp. They fall right on his head, and he shoots him right into the shoes. Snappy, mollied down lower. It's a ramp attack. Not seen many of these. Hades with the orb. He's been one of the guys to watch out for this series, and he'll need to be now more than ever. Yeah, this is the oh, time to show boost. it. This is the time. And Cadian's doing his signature little boost to go for this peak. <laughs> there it is. He always gets away with it. Cadian on that opener. Now I'll they're going to try and take hell. Diha here. He's been someone who can oh. step up. And right now, the double kill. It's boding well for Rens. It's all Diha on this AK. Triple kill denies the hell wrap. And so it's back to the drawing board for Heroic. They're going to start to send Cadian down towards B. Diha posted, waiting for this outside player while the ramp fight's coming oh. in. Missed shots for Diha. And we know what Refresh is like with these turns, with these 180s. He's not ready for that one, though. And so Cadian, one on three, AWP in hand. You oh, no. Oh, my God. Yeah, he's going to yeah, get out. This needs to be a save. This has to be a save. You've got nothing in that last round. They might have even heard that. I don't think so, though. Looks like he's got away with it. Oh, my goodness. What a game. Mate, Great they owe for everything to D her. Yeah, there. like, he gets three. He could have gone for that fourth onto refresh, but he just jiggles at red, waiting and waiting for that flank to come back up secret. Great teamwork after the triple. And the saddest part is Heroic could have just dropped down lower from the beginning. It might have gone very, very differently. Now, Harry, that danger of buying full, of spending everything to get them three rifles, a Deagle and a Mac 10, it doesn't do them justice. And now they've got to play round 30 on the back foot. Let's check this shot. Oh. That's a Cadian classic move, yeah, right? And, and you could see almost that, like, as Hades.